Hi, this is Nate with Black Lion Audio. I'm here today to tell you about our new 500 series chassis, the PBR8. The PBR8 is an eight slot 500 series chassis with a full TT patch bay on the faceplate, which is incredibly convenient because it gives you access to the outputs and inputs of each module. Each slot has Heritage Audio's OST technology, which means that each slot has its own pair of power regulators that keeps noise from one module from bleeding to another. And if one module goes down, it won't affect the other modules. On the faceplate of the PBR8 is a full TT patch bay that corresponds to each slot of the 500 series chassis. So what this means is you have an input and an output for each of the slots one through eight located in the 500 series chassis. And then you have two malts that we put on the faceplate that have one input and two outputs that allow you to split a signal in two and do parallel processing. So for example, let's pretend we had a mic preamp loaded into slot one. We can go out of slot one into the input of the malt and then out of the malt, we can actually use that as a send, a dry send into our DAW. The second output of the malt, we could then go into, let's pretend we have an EQ located in slot two and a compressor located in slot three. We could then go out of the malt into the input of the EQ, out of the EQ into the input of the compressor, and then out of the compressor into the DAW. So that way, in real time, you're actually recording, recording a dry vocal take and an affected vocal take. Nothing has to be loaded in the sequence that you want to actually process in. So for example, if you have a uh, EQ here in slot one and you have a compressor that you wanna use in slot five, you can go out of slot one into slot five, out of five, back over into three, and then use three as your send to your DAW, for example. There's a lot of creative potential there. Now let's go ahead and process some stereo drums using the PBR8's built-in patch bay. The first patch we're going to do is out of the D to A converter into slots 7 and 8 where the SPL TDXs are located. We'll then patch out of the outputs of the TDXs into the ADC. The next patch we're going to do is out of the TDXs and rather than go into the ADC, we're going to go into slots one and two where the character 500 is located. We'll then patch out of the character 500 into the ADC. So now our chain is SPL TDXs going into the character 500 and from the character 500 into the ADC. Next, we're going to try out the Neve Portico 542s located in slots 5 and 6. So we'll be patching out of the character 500 into the inputs of the 542s, then out of the 542s into the ADC. So now our chain goes slots 7 and 8, which is the SPL TDXs, into slots 1 and 2, which is the character 500, and finally into the Neve Porticos located in slots 5 and 6.
Thanks for checking out the PBR8 with us. We'll see you next time.